Yeah, I have a lot of wrinkles. And your hair is very dirty. So, what's wrong with you? Why is she saying this? Let's think about the interview. Nice, pop time. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. So, what's happening? Give me the updates. How's the job? So you passed interview, what's what's happening now? Everything is good, but not really because I don't have friends in my company. Sal, how do you not have friends? You're really? a very likable person. No, it's true because my coworker is foreigner and I don't I don't know how to talk with them. So I'm a foreigner and you can talk to me? I don't know. How, how do you talk to them? What do you do? Give me an example. Okay, I will give you some example. Hello. Hi. Uh, you are Dustin. I'm Dustin. What's your name? Uh, my name is Vy. Nice to meet you, Vy. Yeah, nice to meet you. How too. are you today? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. In Vietnam, you guys always learn in school. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? There's better ways to answer this because this is a very generic, common example that you learn. But I'm great, I'm terrific, you're having a bad day. I'm terrible, I'm having a horrible day. Think of something a little bit different. It's better for a conversation starter. Oh, you look tired today. Your eye have a lot of wrinkles. And your hair is very dirty. So, what's wrong with you? Why is she saying this? In Vietnam, this happens more often than not. People will come up to me. You look so tired. You have so many wrinkles. You know, your hair is dirty today. You look sick. I don't know what do you expect to accomplish from this. These are just something I'm like, okay, and what is your point? What is the purpose? I don't encourage you to do this. You don't need to make any comments about this. Oh, I know why. You had out with girlfriend last night. Do you have girlfriend? Are you married? All right, you guys. So she's asking, do you have a girlfriend? Are you married? This happens all the time. If V is interested in me, then maybe that's okay to ask because she's trying to give me a little clue that she likes me or wants a relationship with me. But some people don't like that. Some people do like that. It depends on who you're talking to. But if you really want to know, maybe the 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 a little bit. We can say ease into it. Don't say it immediately. Wait before you get to know them a little bit. It's a bit better. Oh, I see you have a lot of job in here. Maybe your salary is very high. So how much do you make? How much money do I make? Don't ask this question. You know, unless you have a really, really close relationship with someone, you can ask this. But I think maybe she's a gold digger. She just wants my money, but it's too personal. As a foreigner, that's not a good question to ask. So just don't ask. I would just say, bento, normal. Just a normal salary. Yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna meet my friend. I'm gonna get a coffee. So uh, take care, okay? Give me one coffee too. Give me one coffee? You don't say, give me a coffee. That's very impolite. You want to use, could you please get me a coffee? Or can, or would. Would you mind getting me a coffee? These are politer ways of saying this. I just met her. Give me a coffee. That's too strong. It's a demand. I, I don't like that. It makes me not really want to be friends with her. I'm gonna get a coffee with my friend. It was nice to meet you. I'll see you at work sometime, okay? Take care. I'm feeling embarrassed what I did in the last week. You, you felt embarrassed what you did last week? Yes. Don't, that happens to everyone. You know, it happens to me, it happens to everyone. Don't worry, it's okay. You'll get past it. You know, one thing that you can do is try to remember people's names, because that's really difficult. But one thing I do is I will try to say their name as many times as possible. Maybe three times, you can do that. Or you can have a secret notebook where you can write down somebody's name after you meet them. And then you can try to visualize it when you're not at work or at work when you have a minute. This will show that you appreciate them, you respect them, and you're putting an extra effort in them to really remembering who they are. And people feel valued. It's something that will really help. Yeah, I will try. So another thing that you can do, we can say find common grounds or you're trying to create a conversation more than small talk. Yeah. Small talk is the basic conversation you have with somebody that's not really that important. So for example, you know, maybe you have a coworker and they're drinking tea. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, they're drinking tea. You can create a conversation with that. It's like, hey, you like tea? Like, 
are you a big drink fan? And then maybe they say no. It's like, well, if you like tea, are you into health? Because a lot of people who are into health like tea. And they say, yeah, I'm into health. And they're like, really? It's like, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn more about health. And then you generate conversation based on maybe an assumption, something you see or that you've heard about the person. And then you can talk about health and you can find common interests and common hobbies. Yeah, thirdly, what's great is they're foreigners. You can ask them questions about culture. And with culture, everyone loves to talk about themselves or having a conversation about something they're interested in. Most people are interested in culture. You know, the thing is at work, you can ask their opinion about something. You can ask about something about Vietnam, what they think of this. Yeah. You can, there's a lot of conversation there. So how about I invite them to eat Hoban Lo? Baby duck fetus or baby embryo? Um, you, you could ask them. For me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm down, let's eat this. Because yeah. I love to eat different food. Yeah. But other foreigners would be like, okay, what? Yeah. They, I don't know if they would like it so much. But it doesn't matter because they'd be like, no, no, I don't eat that. That's, oh, that's terrible. It's a conversation starter. Yeah. You could do that. Absolutely. Yes. And lastly, you know, in Vietnam, I often see Vietnamese, they don't understand, but they're like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm a con <laughs> yeah. I know. And for me, I don't feel the conversation is genuine. It's like a good conversation. Yeah. You know, if you don't understand, it's okay. Sometimes, you know, there's an interaction with somebody and you don't understand. Things that you could say, you know, excuse me, I don't understand. Could you please say that again? Or could, would, or can, can you say that again? Yes. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm American, so I don't say pardon me, but yeah. you could say that. So these are some things that you can practice with. Yeah. You know, I know you're a student. You know, you're here at English Town, practicing your English and trying to improve. It's okay. It's going to come with time. You know, I've given you some tips. I've given you some advice, but don't expect it to happen immediately. You know, it's, it's a lot, but it takes time, and you got to practice. You got to practice your English. You got to practice how to create a better connection with somebody to make a longer lasting friendship or even yeah. just we would say a platonic friendship you know, just a very simple friendship at work but i know you can do it i'm sure i know you can do it yes yeah. you got some advice today and you have to put some effort into it yeah i can do it yeah that's not very confident Vic. <laughs> not too confident yeah 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 i yeah. can do it i can do it yeah